Be so, so, I was surprised. Yeah, I did a great Good. Job. That's nice. I like surprise. That's great. So, a little expectation and then a, an expectation met. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Or over the expectation. That's cool. And it speaks to so many things that we've seen going on in our government and in the world. Totally. Whether it's causing wars or insurrections and or uh, the kidnapping and, the, and then border patrol. Mm -hmm. like how, how timely do you think this movie is <clears throat> just to the conversations we've been having as a world nation? I mean, I w I, we talked about this in the beginning, and I was like, look, you know, you, you don't, at least for me, and I don't know about anybody else, you know, work is work and you get paid and then you hope for the best and you make movies and some of them mean something and some of them don't mean anything and some are for just entertainment. But you make a movie like this and you go, are we being sensitive to the subject? Are we just being gratuitous? Do we just have bells and whistles to have bells and whistles because we think we're pandering to the idea that that's what people want to see? You know what I mean? And then you know, I've said this many times, but, you know, this era of social media, things come and then they go, and they go very quickly. And you go, how do you bring something back into conversation? We've learned, especially recently, that when citizens come out and actually make themselves be heard, you go back to, you know, is, is, is the greatest example ever, Rosa Parks, you know, where you go, this is somebody who even black people back then were going, don't say anything, you're going to make it even worse for us, which not a lot of people talk about. But somebody has the balls and the courage to be able, or the conviction to be able to talk about something. So to me, not only are we making a fictional story that feels gratuitous, but then becomes about consequence, nothing but consequence. That's why I like this movie so much, is because you start to see cracks in this arrogance and all that kind of stuff, and you start to see the humanity in that. So having seen it the other day by myself, because I, I wanted the full impact, I was like, what am I left with? I'm left with a compassionate feeling. And if I can springboard anything that I, a belief that I have or a conversation that I want to have from a compassionate place, I think that's a great thing. When you come from good, bad, evil, this, that, yeah. you know, judgmental, you know, titles, stuff like that, I think we get into trouble. How do you uh, embody all of these characters? Like, when, was the shooting schedules Spread apart. I know you have three movies on release in, in this. In this oh yeah. yeah. But it seems like you become these characters in, in your performance, and I wonder, like, how do you embody them and divorce them and get to the next character to be able to do all these performances? Or do you need? No, I mean, it, first of all, it's over two years that we did five movies. You know, we had only the Brave come out right away. You know, we have four coming out this summer. We have Legacy of White Tail Deer Hunter that's going to be on Netflix after this in July, I think. But the whole, you know, the, I think the better question is people ask, like, is it hard for you to let go of a character? And I'd say normally, no. Normally, you just kind of go home and then you get, maybe you have a week or two of just exhaustion and then you just kind of, like, focus on other things. And I'm always into something, so. But, you know, W was a tough character to let go of. You know, that for some reason just stayed there, I think just because I got so obsessed with it. But, you know, Things are spread out, and then you start talking about it and this. It's not as, it's not, we didn't do three movies in three months, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it was more spread out than that. And, you know, and plus, when you're doing the movie, you get so immersed in that thing, you almost want to let it go once it's done. Uh, and, and lastly, like, Benicio, like, what, what makes him such a great actor? Like, what, are you, what do you see in his craft that stands out from... From my point of view, yeah. the willingness to be embarrassed the willingness to be bad, the willingness, you know, we come from an older school, you know, acting kind of mentality of you have to put your ass out there in order to find magical moments. Yeah. I think now the more, fo and not that there's not great actors out there, because there are, but I think the focus now is like, what's the most fame or how can I have the most followers or what's the most likes? And, you know, you get kind of obsessed with that kind of thing. Whereas, you know, Benny is like, comes from a very similar place that I come from. So when we get together, we're no longer, we're friends, we trust each other, but it become, we become saturated by the story. So we start, you know, there's a great volley going back and forth and we're testing each other and we're testing the story and we're testing the director and we're testing the, you know, and all that kind of stuff. You realize that you're there to work, you trust each other within that work. You know, it may be difficult, but then you get to the other side of it. And like this movie, we were both very, very pleased in how it turned out. So, the world will be too, man. Great job. Thanks, man.